of the Rising Souls Set Me Free EP. And you all you notice, we're not playing these in their entirety. And that's by design, because we want you to go out and download. Buy, however you get your music, but support the artist. Come on and see them live. And uh, just uh, talking offline, uh, <laughs> Lucy is bad, one of Bad Company's biggest. She's got like one of the biggest fan clubs for Bad Company, Paul Rogers. And uh, Dave and uh, Lucy are going to get to go out and see Bad Company in Las Vegas. They're going to be the opening act for the Leonard Skinner tour. So how cool. So the tie-in to the Swampers, Leonard Skinner doing a lot of their work in Muscle Shoals. Yeah, and, uh, I can't wait. I mean, I'm a massive, massive Paul Rogers fan. Yeah. So yeah, I love Leonard Skinner, but yeah, Paul I Rogers. really love Paul Rogers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. getting a chance to go and see him and... In Vegas, I've never been to Vegas. So oh, you, oh my so God! Be, uh, an experience. <laughs> so um, yes, it will be. Yeah, I'm really. <laughs> oh, that Lucy, to... she she treats you right when you come to town. Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, any of you aspiring musicians out there that are looking for a promoter, you want to definitely check out Lucy because she's a one person dynamo. David, the time is just flying by. Talk about any. Uh, give some words of wisdom, perhaps, or advice or counsel for aspiring musicians out there. I mean, I pick up a couple things. Your modesty is just uh, unbelievable and genuine. Uh, your absolute love of music uh, on all, in all genres. And then your passion to pursue your dream, you know, to the point where you take a trip from Scotland to Muscle Shoals. I mean, AKA kind of, you were camping out in the tent. Like Dwayne did, <laughs> but he lived in the state. But I mean, that kind of passion I are think, three things I pick up. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, I was speaking to Lucy about this last night, and I think just taking every opportunity that gets offered to you, yeah. go wherever you can to play. And yeah. Even there's a lot of times you just want to give music up, but just you don't. Yeah. yeah you just kind of keep going, keep yeah. going. So take all the opportunities that present themselves. That's what I, I think. You just go if you get yeah. offered anything, just go and do it because you never yeah. know who's going to be there and you never yeah. know what's going to happen. That's how we've yeah. dealt with the band and that's how we'll continue. And if nothing happens, at least you've done everything you yeah. possibly can. You put it out there. Yeah, yeah. You can't look back and say, oh, well, you know. Exactly, no regret. Wishes, think, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think if you don't have any regrets, and you're giving your best shot, yeah. that's all you can do. Because it's tough to make it. Oh, I mean, definitely. the odds are, are usually stacked against you. Oh, definitely, definitely. But if you sit back, you know, it's that uh, great Wayne Grinsky quote, 100% of the shots not taken never go in. Exactly. Right? I mean, you yeah. know, seriously. There's some so if you don't put it out there. talent out there that'll never be known. Right, because um, they're just sitting there in uh, a room. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So this great go and give it your best shot. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have had you on Ride the Vibe. And uh, for a second time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we would love to, uh, when you get the new album or a single off the new album, uh, we'd love to feature that again and promote it because it's outstanding music. It's been a delight to be able to see you three different times here in Roswell and hope there will be a fourth, Ethan. <laughs> Greg tapping <at> six. <laughs> Not to hammer you too much. <laughs> you know, I'm a sales guy at heart, too. So I got to put it out there. I got to walk my own talk, right? <laughs> so uh, any any other words of, of you know, that you want to share? Hello to Jenny, maybe? Yeah, a quick uh, hello <laughs> to Jenny, a hello to the boys in the band, band yeah. um, and to anybody that's listening from Scotland, and obviously to everybody in America, yeah. just to hope you're listening and uh, yeah. hopefully see our show sometime. Yeah, and Rising Souls, we would absolutely love to have you. Um, I know Lucy's working hard to get you booked here in, uh, in Atlanta, and I, I would love to see you guys as well. I think it would be such a treat for us. Uh, Dave's been a great ambassador for your band uh, coming to the United States, and it's been just a delight to meet he and Jenny. Jenny, a big shout out to you. We're working on getting that song, You Are All I Need, changed the lyrics, James. But Dave's got that ingrained in his head, so <laughs> that may not happen. <laughs> but hope to see you uh, coming back soon. And again, can't uh, thank the folks at Gate City enough for providing the Freedom Fighter Beer India Pale Ale. That money is being raised to end human trafficking. Just terrific in Atlanta. That is not a good designation for us. We need to work hard to banish that. <clears throat> and then Ethan Craig at Tap and Six for the Drafty Kill Scotch Ale, only fitting for Dave Archibald from Scotland. Dave, again, just a, t uh, a total pleasure. Lucy, thank you so very much. And uh, we are out of here on Ride the Vibe. Michael Litton, the last DJ. 
explain what he wants to play, say what he wants to say. Thank you, Tom Petty. <laughs> Thank you, Dave Archibald. Thank you, Rising Souls. Thank you, Waheed Gomes. Now we're out of here. No, we didn't. All right, real quick. Uh, great, great job, man. All right, out. I, I must let screw up, Waheed. No, no, no. Not you're too good, much. You're good. You're good. <laughs>